name is Maggie, and today we're going to walk through how to use the embroidery feature of the Eversound Sparrow X. If you haven't done so already, download the Eversound Pro app on your smart device from the App Store on iOS or the Google Play Store on Android devices. Now let's get our machine ready. First, we'll remove the needle and the presser foot. As you go to remove the needle, be sure to hold on to it because it can fall through the stitch plate into the machine. Then, as you go to remove the presser foot, you can always lift it to help slide it out. Next, we're going to change the stitch plate to the straight stitch plate, the one with the red circle. Now we're going to put the embroidery foot onto the machine. To make it easier, lift the presser foot and slide it in from the back. You might need to finagle it a little bit, but once you get it on there, slide it all the way up and tighten the screw. You may need to grab your screwdriver just to make sure the screw is completely tight. Next, we'll put our needle onto the machine. Now, when you look at the needle, you'll notice that there is a round side and a flat side. Make sure the flat side is facing towards the back when you put it on the machine. Now that we have the straight stitch plate and embroidery foot on the machine, we're going to remove the sewing table and place the embroidery unit onto the machine. So we'll slide the sewing table off, and as a note, all accessories for your machine are located within the sewing table. Now, we'll slide the embroidery unit onto our machine, and you'll hear it click into place. Today we're going to connect our smart device to the machine using the point-to-point -point connection mode. We'll start by turning on the machine. The embroidery unit will perform the reset action, the Wi-Fi light will start blinking, and PP will appear on the LED screen as the machine is under the setup process of point-to-point -point mode. When the setup is successfully created, EB, which stands for embroidery, will appear on the screen. As a side note, error codes on the machine will display as E and then the corresponding number. Don't worry if it looks like the machine is showing E6. It's not an error code. However, if you are ever unsure, you can always double check using the quick reference plate found on the back of the machine. From here, you'll want to open the Everstone Pro app on the smart device you're using to connect to the machine. Press the connection button and follow the instructions to connect to your machine's Wi-Fi. Once you've connected to the machine, go back to the Everstone Pro app. You will notice the Wi-Fi light on the machine will no longer be blinking. Now that you have the machine set up and connected, you can prepare your design. I'm going to keep my design simple, but you can design anything you want using the patterns included in the app or any patterns that you've downloaded. You have the ability to add text to your designs as long as everything stays within the embroidery area outlined in the application. Now what's really neat about the app is if you click on color in the list across the bottom of your screen, you may need to scroll to the side, you have the ability to get the exact colors outlined in the app based on the type of thread you're using. Not only can you choose what colors you want and preview them, but by clicking brand list and utilizing the conversion button, you can convert to the brand of thread you're using and view the corresponding color codes for your design. From there, you'll click back into the editing screen for your pattern. Once you have your design ready, you'll want to hoop the fabric onto the proper embroidery hoop. The pattern I've created is going to be used with a large embroidery hoop. So we're going to loosen this quick release to separate the inner and outer hoop. We're going to make sure our outer hoop is placed on a sturdy, flat surface. 
Next, we're going to take our fabric and stabilizer. Today, we're using the Everstone Perfect Pure Stabilizer. We're going to place it on top of the outer hoop with the stabilizer on the bottom and the outer side of the fabric facing up on top. Now, as you go to place the inner hoop into the outer hoop, be sure that the two little triangle marks are aligned. So we're gonna place our inner hoop in. And note that if it doesn't fit into the outer hoop, you can always loosen the screw here. So we have that in. We're going to tighten our quick release. We're gonna make sure this is nice and tight. We're gonna pull it and make sure it's drum tight within the hoop. And then we'll push down on that inner hoop to make sure it really sinks in there. And then from there, you have your fabric hooped. Now that the hoop is ready for embroidering, use your finger to slightly raise the presser foot and slide the embroidery hoop onto the embroidery unit of the machine. You'll hear it click into place. We can now send our embroidery design from our smart device to the machine. Once the design has been successfully transmitted to the machine, the app will notify you which color to thread onto the machine. Now we're going to do a quick run through of how to thread the bobbin of our machine. So you notice there's this little black lever. We're going to pull it to the right. It's going to pop the bobbin cover up. And you'll see that on both the bobbin cover and where the bobbin goes, there are arrows that show you the direction that the thread needs to go. So we'll take our bobbin. And it's going to look kind of like the letter P. We're going to place it in here, holding it with our right hand. We're going to take our left hand and follow those arrows. And then right here at the end, we have a little thread cutter. And then we're just going to pop the bobbin cover back on, and you're done. As you go to thread the machine, you'll notice that there are two spool pins, one vertical and one horizontal. Be sure to use the vertical spool pin when you are using metallic threads. So threading the machine is quite simple, as all the instructions are written on the machine and there are arrows telling you exactly where your thread needs to go. So we're gonna use the horizontal spool pin. There's a little clip right here, put your thread under. And then like I said, you just follow the arrows as you go. Now once we get to this point of threading the machine, we're going to take our thread, put it back behind here, and then you'll notice there's a little guide over here and there's a little clip on the left that we're gonna slide our thread behind. Now we're gonna pull down our needle threader and there are two little hooks that we're going to wanna wrap our thread around. So there's one here on the left and then there's another little one here on the right. And you'll notice that the thread is passing in front of the needle. Then we can pull it up here, use our thread cutter. And then all we need to do lift the lever. You'll notice there's a little loop behind the needle now, and when we pull the thread through, our needle is threaded. Once the embroidery file has been successfully sent from your smart device to the machine, and your machine is threaded and ready to go, lower the presser foot, and press the start stop button to begin the embroidery process. After sewing five to six stitches, press the start stop button to stop the machine. Use the presser foot and cut the thread at the beginning of the stitcher. Then lower the presser foot and press the start stop button to continue embroidering. As long as your smart device is within distance to communicate with the machine during the embroidery process, you are free to walk away and monitor progress from your smart device. Once the color has been completed, you will be notified via the Everstone Pro app and the machine will automatically stop and cut the thread for you. So now we can easily change our thread color. Once our thread color has been changed, we will click the check mark on our Everstone Pro app and we will then click the start stop button. We 
Once again, we'll pause the machine, raise our presser foot, and cut off the excess thread. We will then lower the presser foot and click the start stop button again. And then, once all of your thread colors have been embroidered, your embroidery design will be complete.